that Kate says, would you can, would you call, okay, she misspoke, but she said, would you call coronavirus a flu? Well, here's the thing, uh, there's always been coronaviruses and they've always been flus. So, uh, yes, it is definitely that. Um, you know, people are laughing. There's the whole meme going around the internet. It's just a flu, bro. And let's talk about it right now because I think this is a, this is a special, I, I have difficulty taking position on this one because I get it. What, what people are, when people are saying it's just a flu, bro, it's people like Mr. Mittaker. And what they're saying is, look, it's not a flu. Look at the reaction of the Chinese people. Look, it's not a flu. The president talks about it. Look, it's not a flu. I've never seen people spray uh, disinfectants on the street in China as a result of the flu. Here's the, here's the, the double standard here. The, the question of whether the coronavirus is a flu is a scientific one, and it's based only on one thing, the, the features of this virus. Is it, is it virulent as the flu? Is it airborne, therefore communicable like the flu? Is it, ultimately, does it have a higher death count than the flu? And that's what people mean when, when people say it's just the flu. Uh, we're still within those boundaries. We're not at the point where we can affirm the coronavirus is fundamentally different from any waves of flus we've, um, we've seen before. To the contrary, uh, it's just the flu, bro, is probably the correct scientific statement right now. Uh, most likely. I mean, th this flu does cause some worries and, and I, I don't, uh, I don't want to shame people for taking action and governments for trying to stop it. But the people like Mr. Mittaker, who are ridiculing the, it's just the flu, bro. They do so, not so much based on the features of the virus, you will notice. Their argument always relies on the reactions of the people. But on that standard, I fully agree that the reaction to this virus by the Chinese government, by all governments in the world, is absolutely in a separate category than the flu. Uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> there is a panic around this virus and clearly people have reacted to it differently than the flu but could we say to Mr. Mittaker could we have this uh, domain of agreement that the coronavirus is a flu but that it has caused reactions in the, on the planet that are much greater than the flu and that perhaps these reactions are justified Perhaps uh, we will find ourselves in a year or two years from now with a total death count that will be extremely high. But for now, what we have is mostly a flu to which people are reacting in hyped fashion. Clayton Whiffen says the, the media loves to hype it. Yes, it, it's like it's a, a virus that has had a different marketing treatment. And I'm part of it. I've been uh, I've been covering it. There's lots of things exciting about this virus that, that we can cover. We can know more about this virus than we've ever known about any other wave of virus. We have the genome sequences popping on the internet and everyone is having fun uh, trying to detect where it comes from. Uh, Comfy says, how will Trump get reelected with millions of dead or out of jobs because of the pandemic? This will define his presidency. At least that's what the Democrat forces and the elites of this world seem to be counting on. So what we have here is a mediatic rework of reality. You know, they've been, uh, they've been trying to do the Trump Russia stuff for three years and it didn't work. And they got a gift from nature here. The people who hate Trump they certainly have received a gift from nature. Now, you may be, uh, if you're like me, it, it doesn't matter because in the end, I'm, I'm happy that t Trump is having it tough. I'm happy about it. And it seems that Richard Spencer is also happy about it. Richard Spencer has been tweeting about 
There's people claiming that uh, Trump would have been two degrees away from handshaking someone with potentially the coronavirus. Well, someone diagnosed with coronavirus would have shaken the hand of someone else, and then that someone else would have shaken the hand of Trump. I mean, uh, it's... <laughs> we are tracking this virus at a level that we've never tracked a virus of the same kind and it's uh, it's extremely psychological what's happening it's amazing that this couldn't possibly have happened with a flu like influenza if this had just been another branch of influenza p people would be like ah you know it's just it's the same thing again because this this has been focused around the name coronavirus uh, it has led to a degree of excitement that I would agree with Trump, uh, just from a factual perspective. We're still not in a virus, uh, that has, that has like outcompeted anything else in the past. We're still not worse than the swine flu. We're still not worse than many influenza strains. And uh, that doesn't mean that there shouldn't be, uh, reasons for you to protect yourself of course you can protect yourself but know that we are acting mostly in precautions here and that ultimately there's always going to be new viruses and they don't seem to affect young people that much uh, that being said the count is still quite impressive um, we have reached now 4,000 confirmed deaths as a result of the coronavirus 113,000 cases confirmed. Of course, at this level of spreading, um, at this level of spreading, I suspect that those are extremely under evaluated. The true numbers may be in the many multiples of what we see there. Maybe three times, maybe four times, maybe 10 times. I don't know, but not everyone has the means to take these tests and most people live a withdrawn life, they, they don't get engaged in the system, they don't go to the hospital if they're just coughing. Um, 